Hey, Soul State here. I want to share with you a question I've been asking myself every song that I make. If you pay attention during this video, I'm willing to bet you will ask this question every song too. The question is, what is the core of your song? What are the two to three elements that cannot be deleted? And in this video, some of the best producers in the world are going to help you answer that question. Skrillex identify the core of a song. It all started with this short video clip from Skrillex to really make better music. Part of that is reducing things down and defining what is the beautiful musical idea that you want to form a song around. I'm telling you, like, you can't really hear it, but these two sounds together sounds really sick. That's the song, that's the idea right there. You know, it's like, as long as you can identify like a main idea, you can put all these sounds and like growls, whips, tricks, like all in the middle. But as long as there's, I mean, for me, that's my process, you know? If you can have like a simple element and you can mute everything else, and that's there, to me, that's the song. I just like these two parts together. They sound really, has an emotion. So. Morgan Page, The Piano Test. Let's say you've identified your main idea, but you wanna be sure that it's right. One way to check is with a piano. Because if your musical idea can transcend sound design, production, your fancy new plugin, it's probably good music and music is the core of a great song. Production just supports that musical core. If you can play it on the piano, so I have like a, a real piano, this nice little 70 year old Steinway, and I'll go over, play the chord progression, sing it myself and see how the cadence is feeling. Uh, and if it doesn't feel compelling there, it doesn't matter how good the, the sound design is or the presets, um, the chord voicings, if they're not addictive, then it's not gonna work. I think it, it is worth investing in, in making songs that are as timeless as possible and that can be transformed and shifted as the times evolve. Ian Kirkpatrick, make singable phrases. It's possible that the core idea isn't actually one sound or two sounds, maybe it's a group of sounds. If you wanted, you could actually still test this on a piano, but the main idea is to actually make sure you have something worth remembering, something catchy, something that people can sing. I like that you said you only hear four elements in the song because that's the objective. The listener doesn't know how many layers you put on your kick. The listener doesn't know how many things you got going on, but they, out of all the details and stuff, you're making a phrase. Like when I'm walking around the house, sometimes I'm just like, pretty, like I'm just like, it's memorable, you know, and it might be a ton of layers, but it sounds like a phrase, a unit, you know, layers. Bong, bong, ding, ding, dong. Phrases. Zed. At the end, take out anything unnecessary. Now, if you've created a musical idea that you know is good, but you still feel like it could be a little bit better, copy Zed. After you've produced the song, really fleshed everything out, got it to a place where the hard parts of the production are done, just get rid of everything unnecessary. And I think you have to be brutal here. <laughs> For Stay, my main focus was to make it a song a song where the lyrics and the melody and the structure and everything is equally as important. The verse is just as catchy as the chorus and everything was supposed to be really important. And I went kind of backwards in a sense where I tried at the end to take every element out that didn't give me any information for the music. Anything that I thought wasn't really necessary to be there, I would mute or filter out or just clean up. I just wanted to be a song, just like music used to be. There is a lot of songs where you just wait for the drop. Yeah. And I love a lot of them. I just didn't want this to be one of them. I think the hardest things to do as a musician is to do something really simple that's genius. Yeah. Something the Beatles would do, which sounds so easy to do because it's so simple, but it really isn't. Ian Kirkpatrick, don't destroy something beautiful. As a producer, after we've created a good idea, half of our job is making sure we don't destroy it. Don't let your ego get in the way. Your only job is to serve the song. Do you have any memorable instances where you overworked or overcomplicated something you were working on? Any advice on embracing simplicity slash knowing when what you have is enough? Amazing question. The only story that comes to mind is Bad Liar by Selena. I finished that record with her a and at the time, who's now head of Warner, Aaron Bayshuck. And I was like a and being a ton of things for, for him. And he was like, take it out, take it out. Doesn't need it, doesn't need it. Because he was like... This song is so good on its own. Here's a good tip. 
whenever I find myself overcomplicating a production or like losing myself in the nuances of like a hi-hat or something, and I get frustrated, like, oh, it's not, it's not hitting enough or whatever, I will remember the feeling I had when the song was just a vocal and a piano and how excited I was. Instead of thinking of like building a fucking tower, you're just making sure not to knock down the tower you've already built. You know what I mean? Your, your only job is not to fuck the song up. So it's like, yeah, if putting this in sounds questionable, nah, man. If the plot's lost, then, then fuck it. I like to think about how excited I was about the song when it had, you know, two or three elements. If you want more of these videos with commentary by me, Soul State, show me a signal, let me know with a comment, like, subscribe, whatever. I really do listen and pay attention. Jay Escar, pick a song theme. If you're still struggling to find a musical idea or maybe just further develop the idea you already have, one way to do that is to pick a song theme. It's a great way to not get lost and create some positive creative constraints that force you to make all your elements play together nicely. This track yeah. is interesting, mainly because it tells a story. If I enjoy a song, it's mainly because it has depth. I feel like a lot of music have the potential to go one step further and actually tell a story. The main idea on this one was to portray the emotions and all the environment and all the feelings that you would get if you would live in Atlantis. Atlantis is just an idea of, of like a perfect civilization. Supposedly, everybody that lived there was focused on growing both spiritually and scientifically. Depth. It's hard for me to explain emotions that are not meant to be spoken. And when I'm making music, if I feel like I can go beyond basic language, I know that I'm adding depth. If you want to know how I actually apply this when I'm making a song, for me, sometimes it really does help to have a song that's sort of more mixed and polished so you can really tell when something needs to be there and when something doesn't actually need to be there. And that's why part of refining the core idea, I think, can come at the end of the production process as well as the beginning. Here's a song I'm working on. There's basically three main elements. The drum group giving me the sort of French house classic drums that I like. There's the chords and then there's a the bass providing some nice counter melody. But I think everything really needs to be here. The kick, snare, and hat, absolutely essential. It's just your classic drum house pattern. The chords have the musical progression I like and the sound design that I like, and the bass helps bring everything together. My point is I couldn't imagine this song without this core structure, and everything else will be built on this. So to summarize, because it helps with learning, the main idea is to keep the signal and eliminate the noise. What is the core of your song? What are the two to three elements that cannot be deleted? Thanks for watching, happy music making, and see you soon. Hit down.